today I show you how to power off your Android phone without the power button. If your power button is showing Google Gemini instead of the normal power menu, you don't actually need to remove that. If you want to use Google Gemini, you can still continue to use Google Gemini. I'll show you a few ways to turn off your, I'll show you a few ways to power off your Android phone without using the power button or without using the power button by itself. The first option is that you can still use the power button, but with the volume up. So when you press, I press the power button alone, it starts Gemini. I have a video that shows you how to turn off your Android phone by pressing the side button here as a power button. And if you want to use, if you want to continue to use Gemini, you can continue to use Gemini on the side button, on the power button. But if you got an update and now suddenly you have no power option here, you could change it and I'll show you right now quickly. If you want to change the side button to show the power menu again, you can easily change the function of the power button to act as a power button and not show the Google Gemini AI assistant. You go into the settings and in the settings here you can search. So here you search for power and you see the in the power menu, system gestures, press and hold power button. And I go here, that's the menu and I'll show you directly system gestures. So system, scroll down to system, then go to gestures and you have the press and hold power button setting. That's the same thing, it's just another way to go to this page. And now the power button is set to digital assistant. If I set it to power menu, I long press on the power button, it shows the menu, you can power it off, you can power it off from here. But let's say you want to use a digital assistant and you want to keep using Gemini or for some reason or for some reason you have a problem with the power button. If you want to have the long press for the digital assistant for the Google Gemini, you can actually press the power button and volume up. If you press power button and volume down, it will take a screenshot. But if you press the power button and volume down, it will take a screenshot. But if you, if you press the power button and volume up, it will show you the power menu. And here you can restart or power off your Android phone easily. So how you do it is you press the power button and the volume up at the same time on the right side of the phone. When you press them at the same time, you will see this menu and here you can power off your Android phone or restart it. You can get to the same screen by not using the power button at all. And you swipe down to see the quick settings and swipe down again. And here you have, that's the power button. Here you have there that's the power button and this will open it's the same screen as before so you have the power button the easiest way to power off your android phone without the power button is to use this quick settings menu and then you get to this or to use the or to use the power button and volume up like here and this is the same if you want to get out of this menu you press somewhere where there is empty space around it and it will close so I'll show you now with the quick settings menu, the power option, and then press the power button and the phone is shutting down. That's really, it's so simple. Like this, you can power off your Android phone and you can power it back on by pressing on the side button here. You will long press on it for count to five or until you see a logo. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. You see the Sony logo, but different phones, they will have different options. To start the phone, it's usually the side button or the power button, but you might be able to use some of the volume buttons on some models. After the phone is started again, you will need to enter the passcode of your phone. So make sure that you know the passcode of your phone before you power off the phone. And if you don't have a passcode, you will just swipe up and it will open the phone. Here I have a passcode, so I will enter the passcode quickly. The passcode is entered and the phone is ready to use. This is how you power off the this is how you power off your Android phone when you don't want to use the power button or you want to use the digital assistant like this and be able to also use the combination of volume up power button or to use the quick settings menu power button. You can also use the accessibility settings to power off your Android phone and open the settings up and in the settings up you go to accessibility accessibility settings and then go to accessibility menu and 
in accessibility menu here you have to give it access if you want to enable it so accessibility menu shortcut here i have to allow it permission to control my phone and this is the option it shows me where to get the accessibility menu that's a shortcut there and this is the shortcut here and i can do lots of things i can use the assistant volume up volume down but i can also use the power so the accessibility setting the accessibility menu is also an option and you can move it around you can disable it here if i want to disable it or you can edit it and i could keep it somewhere between the apps here not not uh, in the way i press the accessibility menu and here i have the option to power off the android phone it's the same menu and now the phone is shutting down it's turning off these are some really useful ways to turn off your android phone and when you turn it back on all you have to do is long press on the power button and after you long press the power button the phone starts again yeah phone is starting again and enter the passcode that's it i hope this helps you turn off your android phone you can power it off in multiple ways using the power button and volume up using the quick settings menu the power option here or using the accessibility settings accessibility menu power button there is also the option to force shut down the phone if it's uh, stuck there is also the option where you let the battery drain and the phone turns off if you really need to turn it off but if you're going on a plane the buttons options and the menu and the accessibility menu are really like this you have plenty of options to power off your android phone when you still need to use the google gemini assistant this is all when you need to use the assistant if you don't need the assistant you can change the setting here for the power button long press to power button instead of a assistant menu Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you turn off or power off your Android phone. Now it's back on.